The reason why I'm running for city council at large is I have the experience and the expertise to be on the city council. I was elected for 13 terms in the city of Springfield. I served three terms as the council president. I was also the election commissioner for the city of Springfield, and I also served 12 years on the park commission, eight of which I was the chairman. I oversaw $73 million into our parks. I brought a lot of experience to the City Council. I passed major legislation, including the creation of the Department of Elder Affairs and the Re Race Relations Committee. I think I can do the job. I know I can do the job. And with your vote on September 12th, you have five votes, I can continue to lead this city forward. Thank you and God bless. Well, as I go door to door throughout the city of Springfield to become an elected official in this city, the thing that's on the minds of everyone, top of mind, is crime. Crime, crime, and crime. As I speak to you from this podium right now, we've had 18 homicides in the city of Springfield. We have raging fentanyl and heroin on our streets. And we also have a very, very severe gun problem. A recent article by Stephanie Berry in The Republican points that out, that there are guns known as ghost guns that are used in crimes that can't be traced. So in the next several weeks, I'll be launching my plan on crime, and this plan will work. With your vote on September 12th, we can start in the right direction and bring down crime in the city of Springfield. But I need one of your five votes to make that a reality. Thank you so much. And remember, September 12th is the primary day, and I need one of your five votes. Thank you so much, and God bless. I think the city of Springfield right now is at the crossroads. I think we have many issues that we have to address. As I mentioned, crime is one of those. But we also have an inflation problem. We also have a tax problem. People just got hit with a 6.7% increase in their water bill. They're making tough decisions. They make, it's hard for them to make ends meet. So we have to make sure that we change the direction of we're going in the city, and I can do that as your elected official on the Springfield City Council. Thank you.